All right, so here it is. This is a part printed on a mini fabricator with Ninja Flex. It's like a ninja. Uh, it turned out okay. It's not the prettiest print, obviously. I still need to play with the settings. However, it did let me down in the slicer department. Looks like it got sliced. Literally. Um, I, I don't know what it is. It's got to be something I can play. Maybe a different slicer engine or the settings. But what would happen is the printhead would do its thing. And then it would stop. And then come back and then stop. And then cross over. And then start here. And then come back. And it... it logically, you think it would do this as a whole outline. You know, and then stop somewhere other than on a corner. Um, it just... It didn't... It didn't go all the way through, as you can see, it's a pretty big gap. It did on the corners as well, but not as bad, as you can see. These are basically falling apart. Uh, it did take a lot of tries to get to this. As you can see, here's one of the many failed attempts. This one coming apart completely over here. Well, the settings that ended up working were default for everything on Cura except for extrusion I unchecked the enable retraction and the main reason for that was I started to get a lot of failures um, as you can see this is kind of globby on the top it wasn't getting filament on a regular basis I know you're saying it's flexible what do you expect it's a Bowden however the the problem was that it was just pinching up here um, in between this and the nozzle and it would loop up and it actually came up about this high at one point so I started it again and I watched and what I found was that when it would retract that's when it was it would slip and it get this extra space so I decided let's test it and make it so it doesn't do retraction anymore and those are the results I was also kind of hoping that it would fill in these gaps hoping you know hey it's not going to retract as it stops and goes over um, but as you can tell it did not help back to the settings the other thing I did is on filament, I set this to 120% because I wanted to get a good flow. Um, this is something I'm going to play with, I'll explain. So the print temperature to 227. I did get it up to 228 to 29. It worked pretty good, um, but the problem is, is it goes over that temperature and it's really close to 230 and it would shut down. I left all this stock. And then when I printed and sliced, I did it at three millimeter, all the way down on slow, only 30% end fill, and then just loaded these settings that you see right here. Overall, it did pretty good. Uh, I did play, as I mentioned, with the flow rate a little bit, just because I was hoping that on top of, you know, turning off the retraction, that it would also help you know, making sure that there's a good feed of the flexible filament through the tip. Anybody who has any suggestions on how to get this to slice differently so that it doesn't do this, I would love it. Um, also, once it gets up to temperature at that 227, it's kind of always slowly oozing. Um, even when I had retraction on, it, it was doing, as you can see here, you know, every little piece, every time you can see where it would travel across, it would do that. So any help with that it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I know that there are many experts out there who are much better at this than I am and uh, I would appreciate your input and if you want to play with NinjaFlex for yourself and share your settings or improve upon my settings or give me better suggestions I would love it because I really need this part and a flexible that will work in a stretched out environment and this will not work so please comment email message whatever you want to do i need your help and another thumbs up for this awesome tiny little printer it can do flexible filament kind of <laughs>